Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Avi Mac. And today we're going to be going over a beard shape of my beard, to be exact. Uh, I'm going to talk about how to use some enhancements, some life hacks, as far as enhancements go. And uh, see if we can make ourselves look a little better, because we're looking real patchy. Alright, so before you get started, as a best practice, I'd say wash your beard. If you have beard wash, good. If you don't have it, try to use some shampoo that's a little bit more natural. Try to stay away from the stuff that's got way too much processing in it. But yeah, give your beard a light wash. Um, you want to try to fluff the hair a little bit, even though it's it'll look like a mess like mine does right now. Uh, but it'll help because right now with all the masks that we're wearing on a daily basis, if you're wearing a mask, uh, it's going to create some not so natural bends in your beard. And when you're shaping it up, you're not going to get a realistic outcome as you're kind of just trimming and, and shaping it up. So yeah, wash your beard before you get started. So when edging up the top of your beard or any area you're edging up actually, you want to turn the trimmer in a way where you can see what the blade is cutting. A mistake that I commonly see out there is people blocking their view with the trimmer itself which can result in a pushback. stragglers are out of the way obviously we haven't used a razor yet we're gonna go ahead and actually put the beard enhancements in so I'm gonna be using this Pacino's pen as you can see if this thing will that's a dark brown right there first line doesn't have to be perfect and if you don't like it at all you can always fully just clean it off with some alcohol 
and it looks really dark in the beginning but once I start brushing it starts to go away and then with this because you're putting in such a I won't say harsh but legitimate line in there you're gonna have to kind of give it some more to the actual beard just kind of blend into the rest and that's it and for the other side we're gonna be using a good old pen now these pens are technically just eyeliner um, a lot of y'all buy them as barber pens same exact material and I'm gonna use it as well paint in that line see this one smears versus this one doesn't but that's okay because when we do the white line and the shaving with the razor it's all gonna go away and now we're gonna set in the white line another pencil and it's okay it's a little crazy All right, and that is it for today. As y'all can see, that is the cut, the trim, the shape up. No, I don't have a perfect beard. Um, not even close, but by trimming it, you know, grooming it correctly, uh, hitting it with the razor, putting some enhancements in there, I'm confident that I don't have a terrible beard and that uh, I can look nice and fresh whenever I want to. Just wanted to give y'all some options again. This side is the Pacino's marker. Y'all can find it on Amazon or their website. And then this side is just some barber pencil or some eyeliner. I just wanna say thank you to everybody who subscribed, everyone who's hitting that like button, everybody who's watching these videos and taking something away from it. Really, really grateful. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.